All right, so today we're going to be talking about bullet physics in the Blender viewport. Uh, it's a fairly new addition to Blender, uh, but uh, it's something that makes it a lot easier and in terms of making simulations and um, having objects interact with other things. <coughs> uh, so I guess uh, this will be a nice short one because it's actually super, super easy. Okay, so we'll start with the default cube. We'll add in a plane. This will just be our ground plane. And then we'll add, uh, move that cube up and then duplicate that cube or that cube over there and that cube over there. Uh, we'll keep it in the internal render engine uh, because it's actually not that big of a deal, but we will want to set it to sun and sky. These are uh, very useful things to have, but uh, we'll move that over here and move that on the z-axis to sort of get it pointed in the middle somewhere in there. And then uh, we'll also want to, because again, we're not really going to care about this too much, turn on the ambient occlusion uh, and put that to point 0.1 so we sort of clean that up. And then, uh, again, the reason why I'm doing the um, materials first, we'll just make a, a, how about red versus blue? Yes, red versus blue. Who doesn't love that combination? Uh, we'll do blue, and uh, we'll also turn on the specularity, so we'll make these nice and dull looking. Uh, but yeah, so then we'll hit 1 on the numpad, and hit control shift 0, and uh, move that out over, so we're kind of in the same place, and then scale that on the x-axis to over there, so that's, I guess, pretty good. Um, okay, so in order to put physics onto something, you just go over to the physics panel and click rigid body. And uh, that's all that you really have to do. Uh, two types of settings here, active and passive. Active means it moves, passive means it doesn't. Um, ground should probably always be passive since we want things to collide with it, but we don't want anything to, we don't want it to move. Because if I would hit the um, animate button at the at least at this point, it would just fall through the, f the non-existent floor and just keep going and going and going forever. So that wouldn't make for a very interesting um, anything at this point. I also like to set on the collision margin. Uh, it says that under the tooltips it uh, best results when non-zero or whatever, but it makes it calculate more. Um, so it has to do a little bit more thinking, at least the processor does. Um, but at least for something as simple as this, we don't really have to care about it. Um, but that, that will become useful uh, much, much later. But um, anyway, so again, same thing here. We want to add two rigid bodies to these. We want to have them be active. That's perfect. And um, that's pretty much all we really have to do with that. So, um, right, we clicked on, again, the same settings for that. And if we hit Alt-A to animate it, see what happens. They just land. Okay. Uh, not very interesting, right? Uh, again, at least it's doing something. Okay. So in order to get these things to collide with each other, as you might have seen in the sort of like teaser video for this, um, you have to set it to animated, move it, and then deactivate animation before it's going to hit. Um, uh, I know that may sound a little bit complicated, but it really, really isn't. So, um, right, I insert keyframe of location rotation. Uh, we'll go over to frame 60. There we go. Uh, go over to frame 40, let's say. And we'll put that guy right there, location rotation. And then we'll put this. Uh, we wanna, we'll put him over here, again, on frame 40. And then we'll go back to frame 0 and put him back here. So if we scan through our little thing... Come on, uh, we'll still see that this will activate and still go down, which uh, isn't exactly what we want, right? Because we want them heading toward each other. And the way we go about doing that is clicking the animated button there. So whenever we do that, it says, oh, okay, um, screw bullet physics. We're not going to listen to that guy. He's an asshole. And uh, instead, we're just going to try and um, instead, we're just going to be animated. So what we need to do is we need to find the frame they collide in. Um, this is as close as we're going to get because, right, they're already, if you look at Z, they're already intersecting there. So you don't want to use that. We want to use the frame right before there. And we want to keyframe animated to be off. I and then off. Make sure that's off. So, and then we can go back to the front and we'll want to make sure that we keyframe animation to um, be on there. Okay, so uh, our animated is off right there. So we're going to make sure that is on. Make sure that's I, and uh, still keyframing it as off, because I messed up there. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we're going across here, we're going across, we're going across, and we're no longer animated, and we're no longer animated. So they should hit, and you saw just there, they collapsed on each other and bounced off. Um, so that is exactly what we want to do. So we hit A to run them, and they run right into each other. Awesome. Um, that's as simple as... 
colliding two objects can be.